G'day, it's Bill here from Optic Central. Today we're unboxing a new scope. It's a, uh, it's a Saxon 909 EQ2. Um, the, uh, the 909 is a, a, a refractor telescope. It's got an aperture of 90 millimeters and a focal length of 910. It comes with uh, three eyepieces. There's a, a four, a 10, and a 25 in the super range. Um, it comes with an optical scope. that's a six by 30. Uh, it comes with a 90 degree mirror diagonal. Um, it comes with a T-thread on the end of the focuser, which means you can attach a camera. Uh, and it also comes on an equatorial mount that you can upgrade at a later date if you want to track the stars with a motor. Um, and the Saxon comes with a five year warranty as well. Thinking about who would benefit from the Saxon 909 EQ2, uh, this is a serious beginner telescope. Uh, it's for somebody who doesn't want a toy. Uh, the mount is stable, it's got slow motion controls, meaning you don't have to shove it around, which is really good for when the, when the stars move a small amount. Uh, however, the equatorial mount is simple, so it suits the beginner. You can track the stars with just the one knob. About market placement, Saxon's got a large range of refractor telescopes, um, but in terms of price, um, below this one, you will find there's something called a 709 EQ, which is uh, a refractor telescope. It's a, a smaller diameter, but it's got a similar focal length, so similar magnification. Uh, it's on a lighter equatorial mount, so it's, it's kind of smaller all around. Um, above this one, there's, um, for example, the Saxon 1021 EQ3, which is what we call, also call the Hyperion. Um, that's another refractor. It's got a larger diameter. It's got a longer focal length. Uh, and it's on a heavier equatorial mount, which that one is fully upgradable to a go-to mount. Um, but incidentally, you can get the 909 tube as an altazimuth mount, uh, and we call it the 909AZ3. So, what can you see with a Saxon 909 EQ2? Um, now, the 909 is a bit of a workhorse. It's good for a bunch of targets. Uh, it's got 910 millimetres of focal length, which, is, which means that you're going to see small but clear images of the planets, the larger planets anyway, Jupiter and Saturn, and when it's close to Earth, Mars. Um, star clusters and globular clusters are going to be pretty good, um, even from light polluted areas, because they've got enough punch to get through the, um, the, the light pollution. Um, 90 millimeter aperture, that's going to show you some of the bright nebulas, um, like the Great Nebula in Orion or Eta Carina, if you happen to be in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, that's, that's going to be better than the 70 millimeter uh, version of, the, uh, of the, uh, the telescope. So let's get down to the unboxing. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the, inside here you'll find some more boxes. So I'm just going to move this, uh, them to here and then I'll lay it out in the ground and we'll build it from there, okay? Instructions. A box within a box. And within those boxes, boxes. Right, here we have the contents of the boxes. So let's see, we'll go from put it up there. First of all, the instructions, we'll put those there. Inside of this box we have some tools, a little lens cleaner. This is a uh, a counterweight bar. We have a bracket for a finder scope. We have a 25 millimeter, a four millimeter, and a 10 millimeter eyepiece. We have a 90 degree mirror diagonal, and we have a six by 30 finder scope. Inside this box, we have the actual equatorial mount. I believe this box contains a uh, counterweight. This 
is the, the, the leg spreader tray. And the actual mount, the actual tripod. And finally, the star of the show. Lots of bubble wrap. The Saxon 909 tube. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up a bit here and we'll start building it. Okay, here we are. I've surrounded myself with all the, the, the bits and pieces and got rid of most of the, uh, the, the packaging. Um, we'll build the mount. I'll just, I'll build it on this. Um, I haven't put it up to the full height, obviously. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work down here on the floor. Let's see. <clears throat> the first thing is the tray. And we'll use a bit of fast forward, I think. There we go. Next, the mount. The mount, they always give it to you in a very squashed up area, a squashed up way. And it goes sort of around about, or oh, around about there. Okay, uh, next the counterweight. Counterweight goes in here, like that. Let's take the, the, the little safety bar off, or the safety nut off. I'm gonna send this all the way up to the top for the moment. We'll balance it later. Very important to put this back. Okay, let's go to the uh, the optical tube assembly. Now this goes on to there. I'll actually, I'll turn it around. I'm going to need some tools for this as well. Okay, this is the finder scope bracket. It's got a little rubber band on it, which I'll show you how to use in a second. Now the finder scope is here. This little rubber band goes, there's a little indentation down there. So just roll that down onto that and this goes in there, there's a spring there, so you hold that spring out, pass that through there. Oh, you might need to undo these things first. There you go. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Bottom end of the focuser. Put a diagonal. There we go, and we can put a, an eyepiece in there. Well, I always start with the 20, 25, sorry. There's something I've missed back in a moment. <clears throat> So 
slow motion controls. The slow motion controls go on this little stub here. You put the slow motion control on there. There's a flat facet there and that will go in there and you just tighten the There we go. And the other one goes on this one. There's a flat facet there as well. Okay. These, these slow motion controls allow you to move the telescope just gently. I'll just move it around again. So now this one moves it slowly that way, as you can see, and this one moves it slowly, oops, I haven't got it locked, there we go, this one moves it slowly like that. This one is the one you're going to be using while it's correctly polar aligned. You only need to, to, to use this one and it will keep the, track, the, the star in track. Um, I think that's it. Um, good luck with your telescope and um, uh, yeah, well, please guys.